First of all, we're gonna put the, everything together. We have the suspension over here. This one has already preset, and it has the um, inside um, springs. So the way I like to do it is separate my screws first. We put our parts together, it's easier than installation. As we can see, it's broken already. Hopefully it still works. So the way this goes is um, if you line it right there in that position like that, come going close to the screw, so that should be perfectly fine from the installation of the cover. That this one is too far out, so we're gonna remove it as well. And put it close like this in that line from that side straight down like this close to that screw that should be perfectly once um, we have um, so you can see this channel over here is going to go that way like this so as you see it sits perfectly so let's go ahead and prepare that the, start picking the, the covers This becomes out of rest. In the meantime, let's see the tools. Is that okay? And these are also for the rest of the installation on the top of the scooter. So now we see that he has already reset this up for, he has six threads over here and here has only three. So let's get it back to five. And that's good. Five threads free. Okay, so now let's try to seal this up. Now there's a seal and it's soda inside. Let's properly place the logo on top of the plate that is going to be on top of the LEDs. It has to read charge set. Just check positions as it is. Now we're going to start with the 8 um, screws, it's going to be 4 inch high. And when we put the first screw, we, know we do not want to tie it up fully, we want to just uh, put it in place. Now we're going to tie it up. Now I think we have them all the four screws in place. All right. That's it. Another four screws. Now let's take a look how it looks like and it looks very tight, neat. This should work just perfectly fine. Let's get to it. All right, first of all, what I like to do here is lay down the, the fan, uh, the completely the, the suspension that way, can I see? All right, yes. All right, so what I like to do is uh, put one screw first, one of the two, sit it on it, with a 2.5 millimeter um, Allen key, push it a little bit, leave it loose. You don't need to push it all the way through. And then graft the second screw. Once you have the second screw in, then, then it's, um, I mean, it's because it's easy to find a hole when they, they are both loose. Now you can actually tie it up fully. 
and make sure that this stays flat so there's just to hold it from there so let's cruise it properly okay so we have that part done so the next step is going to be get the seals out out so these seals has to come out now let's remove the brake line from the wheel please pay attention to step one so what we do here is the first step we're not gonna clap it from here we're not gonna move anything from here or anywhere else so we're gonna come here what we want to do is actually unlock these two uh, nuts now that we have this nut loose what we are going to do is grab our metal like this bring it up get our player stick it in as strong as we can and now we need to turn this back down Now that we have removed, um, give a little bit of space over here. What we're gonna do is uh, remove um, this wire completely off the way. So what we do is get it off the channel, bring it out, it comes out like that. So this is gonna stay that way. And, and, this, is so, and this also is gonna stay here, we don't need to remove it. That, that's gonna stay the way it is. Um, now as you can see we have a nice space to work right there. And now we can continue with our removing of this um, little screw. As you can see, we have space enough, we have enough uh, weight to get to it. Let's use a professional tool for it, at least for this part. like that so we get the pin out of the way the next one is going to be remove the, um, the crossbar out of the way like this again we don't need to remove this part because this is going to come out completely with the, with the fork so right there then we simply just install this back so in case that uh, the owner later on wants to install this um, for some reason wants to put this back although i doubt it so i like to put all the parts together always back for the owner to keep so we keep that part so that, that is done basically as we know the, Alright, it's time to remove the, the sticker. So, what we're gonna do is uh, put it up there. Put up. All right, so we want to just discover that one single screw that is in there. So, for that, it's gonna be um, lock number 15. And it's uh, the same that it opens on the, the other cover of the, the battery. So we're gonna use this one, the same that, that it comes with a, with a kit. Now, once we know that it's loose, we're gonna do leave the screw there and put our um, sticker cover in it. So it stays in there. Now, for this one, that's what we need the pins for. This one will come out this way. Right. We're gonna lose them. We place them back. I 
and side ones now we have the screws out and remove the forks. So we got the four forks, the four screws and the four covers. So now this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put ourselves in front of it and um, simply pull it out. And that's it, that's how these things come out. So now we have it right there. We're gonna remove the, the wheel from it, from the fork. But before doing that, we want to uh, loosen up that as screws and the unscrew itself. So we got that one out. Then we get this one out. Like this. These keys. Just put the phone. Right there, that's it. I decided not to do this, um, remove the nut with the key that comes with the kit because uh, I could see that, um, that I could have breaking the table that I'm, where I'm working. If I were being on the floor, this would have been easier and without having to put too much pressure. So I decided to use the socket number 15 to remove the nut from it. Key for it is 15 millimeters. You can see right now it's spinning from the other side also so now is when we use our second once we have loosened them a little bit it's when we use our second key so as we can see right there so we have it right there so what we're gonna do here is to find the square part all right Hold it so we can remove all the knots. So I'm not gonna show just to for demonstration, just for demonstration what happened here is as we can see if we turn it a little bit like like that, that position, we lift up our wheel, this one will not come out. Even though if we have our two nuts out, this will not come out. So what happened is if we put it in position after wheel is supposed to let it, let you come out see what happens e3 free. and that's a simple explanation because the um, the pin this pin is square it's not actually i mean it has the round part but it has a square parts too and that's for because of uh, uh for security purposes now we have the wheel out, that's the way it comes out. We're gonna put the, um, one of the nuts back in, right here. And the other one on the other side because we don't wanna, we don't wanna lose the, the, the space on that side. So we wanna just make sure that everything's spaced so we keep it together. All right, so now that we have that in, we're gonna proceed to remove the next parts. And that's, we're going back to the Allen keys. This should come out without any pressure, by the way, guys. Once you remove the, uh, the tension or the pressure, it should be fine. So we wanna put this uh, screw back in because we, does, um, we don't want the, the watches that are in to get misplaced. So the next step is going to be remove this one. It's going to be the, the same the small key, which is the, uh, the number 15 of the third head. Uh, remove sets so now when um, uh, if you guys already have modifications on this ones you want to make sure that you get the same parts that are original because the charge set is built to work with these settings 
So we want to make sure also, you know, if uh, something, um, if a uh, watcher get loose or something when you removed it, we want to make sure that uh, remember to check to see before how they are, how they seed, what they, because that they, the top part is very flat underneath it has uh, some uh, different cuts. So we want to make sure that sit in the same position. So as we can see, I'm going to show this closer. So this one is the one that it goes underneath, facing down that way. So we can see the shape. The one is cut, it's go first. The second one, the one on the top, was going to go this position. And it's, as we can see, the, that, that cut over here is going to, is, that's where it's attached and sit properly. So we don't miss it once uh, we need to put it back on. Now we have full motion to get this out. And, um, Okay, so and as we can see, I mean, I really need to remove this. It's not necessary for you to remove it. You just put your parts together and keep it that way so it, you can save it. Now what we're going to do is uh, put this back together like this. So now you know that the full part, your whole um, front uh, forks are all together. So now we're ready to install the charge set suspension. So now we have everything in place. So we're gonna do is lift that up a little bit of the scooter, put it in position, put the green. So I wanna make sure that's that way. We're gonna actually set it up at once. We don't wanna make sure, we don't wanna have any inconveniences for it. Once at this, uh, Parsering again, make sure that I'm positioned at the, the way it needs to be. We put our secure pin in it. This is not for any other reason more than this, so this doesn't come down. Okay, so this is not, you don't need to worry about. I mean, that not being position. Next step is going to be to put the stem back. All right, so. This part is very important. Please pay attention. Uh, ask somebody to hold the, the scooter um, stem on level for you, or simply put a box as I'm doing it right here. Uh, you don't want to hammer it. All you want to do is uh, put a little pressure with the, with the Allen key. And boom, that's down. Okay. This is the way to align it. It's um, very easy. So what we do is look at this part over here, the center of the, the mud car, and that will get you basically the position that the stem needs to be. And if you see it straight from here all the way to the tail of the scooter also that will give you exactly as we see over here also and it's very easy as the suspension is very wide and it has enough visibility to straighten it up without having to have all the lines in place so as we can feel it it's already in place it feels tight so we are going to tie up the screws a little bit. Okay, so now, uh, as we can see, the holes are very big, so it's, it's very easy to get to them. So what we do here is calculate like that. If we cannot see it, otherwise we just push. Push our wire all the way in, and we can see it all the way in the front. Over here, so what I'm gonna do is, um, if you don't have anything like this, you can even use your Allen keys that comes with the chest set, put it in. I have my professional tools to get this done, but I want to try to do it uh, as you guys would put it down. That's why you can use a table to and do it with boxes and things like that. <sighs> Anyways, that's another conversation, I guess. Right, so now we have it right there. So simply we want to put our wire in 
the brake line that's it put it right there and make sure that it's off the, the lump so when you install it and that will give you basically the position in there so uh, it's completely off the light we're going to proceed to install our tire uh, this uh, gap over here has to go in the pin that is right there so you can see it already has a little then over there so it means that there's something on the other side so that that pin has to go that way so and as well so remember the pins the, the pins over here are square so we want to push it in that position right there all together at once so when we push it in the wheel we see the spacer that spacer has to be in the inner part of it so when you see it it goes the the the, the stand of the suspension has to go like this not not with the spacer on the outside has to be in the inner part and there is no spacer on the other side only it's only the spacer is on this side but not in the brake line on the brake side there is no spacer okay so now we have it aligned now we lift it up This installation is very easy if you know a little bit have a sense of it how the parts of the scooter work. That's it. How would you know that this is in, in place? By pressing over here and this thing will not move. See, everything is good. So we're now we're ready to put our brake and line in. So for this we need to remove Cut this one out, that out, right here. So here we need to get only one one of the two nuts out. We're gonna align it. We're gonna put it in the one we remove back in other ones. So you gotta add a little bit of thread lock back over here. That's it. Now we have that one in place. Now our next step is going to be to put this this one in. So the way the good this one goes is uh, the pointy is goes to the, to the front like this. So we're gonna put this one. And the way to do it easily is uh, we push this one forward. So we have space over here. We push our um, bridge in between. And then that's it. We just let it come back. And let it just come back fully. And then what we do is push it out like this. Oh, this part. So the pin is like that, right? So we want to make sure that this sits like this. So we see that the way it is, that it has to be sitting like that. That's how it's going to stay. Even though if you keep turning it, always don't leave it like that. Make sure it stays that way. Once you have done the next step I'm gonna show. No turns, that should be good. Good. So now we have a position how we're gonna use a thread blocker. Go 
what we're gonna do is start that and add one to each other next to each other. And that's about it. Finalizing by putting the stickers on. All right, so now that we have those down over there, so we're gonna make sure that's um, remove this one as well from here. Using the top 15, which is this key now, we're going to remove all the screws. So we have it out, as you can see the screws stay over there so they don't come out. So you wanna just do that. Do not remove them so they, they just push the thing back in and that's it. This one you can actually make it from um, a hanger or a close hanger. Uh, just make a little hook on it so it's easy to get out. We use it for getting uh, wires out or Strange as glue on it. <laughs> sort of a silicon. Okay, so we got that one out. We are ready to install our wire. So we can see uh, this is already a little messed up. Seems like uh, the gentleman passed away. Tried to install it even himself and uh, did a little bit of damages. What we do is uh, wrap up first of all the part so it doesn't get damaged in the way. We attach it to our pin and then we leave a little bit extra of tape loose like that. And then we're gonna push it. out so. all right so we want to make sure that this goes in this is a controller this pin we don't need it so it's just a something to connection so we're gonna just keep two and uh we want to get it like approximately like this this is um, approximately the length maximum is needed for um, for the scooter to be able to turn without any problems. That's it. Keep about that like about three inches in that position. Now we're ready to do that. To install the. So the way we're going to do this, um, I want to make sure that uh, we see 
how it goes. Like we see this, um, the little lever, the little lever over here is the one that is gonna go against this part to that side. That one with the wires is gonna go towards the bottom. So what we're gonna do is um, put it in this position like that. We're gonna have it like this, and then uh, what we do is uh, simply align it, align it in the port, and again, it's the only one empty right there. So, again, we Hold it with one hand and with the other finger. Once we have it lined it in its position and place, and it just to push. And that's it, it's installed. Now what we're gonna do is uh, test it because the wires are so messed up on this thing. And they are working. Bravo, myself. All right, so that's it, that's the installation. Now what we're gonna do is tackle everything in and, and fix up the, um, these wires because they need to be fixed. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna pinch that thing out, pinch it. Um, by the way, when you are installing this, do not use any pliers, no metals in there. Can do it with your fingers. Now we're gonna be fixing this part. Gonna do some hot glue for it. And that should be perfectly fine. Again, we put it that way, that position. It in and it's done. Test it again. You know that it's working. Turn it off. Put our seal back in. It hit our wires. And now it's it, installation is almost complete. What we need to do is just put one more of these ones inside here. What we're gonna do is um, bring them all in this, like this. Now that it's done. That's about it. Installation is complete. We have all the seal seeing, position seal, and it's done.